वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल गुड प्रैक्टिस बेटर लाइफ टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑन मंथली बजट प्लानिंग फॉर एन इंडियन फैमिली आई हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च ऑन सम ऑफ द गुड प्रैक्टिस दैट द सक्सेसफुल पीपल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड फॉलो एंड मेड अ कस्टमाइज प्लान दैट वुड बी परफेक्ट फॉर द इंडियन हाउस होल्ड आई एम ए सर्टिफाइड फिनेंस मैनेजर एंड दस शेयरिंग माई एक्सपीरियंस विथ ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वीडियो सो आई हैव पुट अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट टू मेक दिस वीडियो एंड इट विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प टू मैनेज योर फिनेंशियल प्रॉब्लम्स सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच द वीडियो टिल एंड So why do we need budgeting? When the income or the salary comes at the beginning of the month, we go doing expenses according to the money we have with us. And then at the end of the month, we can see some month the expenses are little higher, some month they are less. So our savings also vary accordingly. Thus we don't have a clear idea of our financial strength. But once you start budgeting you can have a clear idea how much are your immediate expenses how much you should put in your long term savings account and how much will you have as your pocket money and thus you can have a clear idea where you stand financially how far are you from achieving your goals and all that As you start to do your monthly budget planning, first put your monthly income at the top, which is almost constant. Then start listing down your expenses for the whole month. I have divided them into online and offline category as per my convenience. Take your own time and list down all the expenses in both categories. So in the online category there are phone bill electricity bill internet any health insurance car insurance or any EMI if you have your house rent school fee for kids everything Offline payment has to be done to the maid cook milkman newspaper vendor fruits and vegetable shop to the non veg items and so on then put the amount against all of the expenses you have written here and find your total online expenses and total offline expenses separately and then add them and you will get your total monthly expense now just withdraw the amount of cash at the beginning of the month which is your total offline expenses only So once you get to know your total unavoidable monthly expense you can plan your savings accordingly We all know the importance of savings in our life but most of us don't know when and how to start saving So let's discuss how can we do smart savings for long run Smart savings means you should divide your savings for different purposes and invest them accordingly So the first category of savings is the emergency fund. You should always have an emergency fund ready with 6 months of your monthly expense which we have already calculated. So fix an amount which you will contribute to this fund every month. The next category is the long term savings. The purpose to create a fund for long term savings is to buy a house, car or land or for higher education or for a startup or any other purposes as per your requirement you can contribute a minimum of 5000 to a maximum of 50000 as per your convenience as this is the major savings fund it is better to put it into different places there are two types of investment one is low risk low return and this is high risk high return so there are fixed deposit recurring deposit ppf in low risk category and there are mutual fund stock market in high risk category so make sure you contribute a fixed amount to this fund every month also the last category of savings is short term savings which you can use to buy a furniture jewelry for any travel trip for anniversary gift to your parents 
or organizing birthday party for your kids or anything immediate purposes like that. And you have to make a minimum contribution to this fund per month also. So all these three categories, emergency fund, long term savings, short term savings together contribute to your total savings. Now your income is A, expense is B and savings is C. So let's do a quick calculation and see what is left with us at the end of the month. So income minus expense minus savings is the sum X which is the leftover in hand cash with you. Now you can use this amount as your pocket money for shopping, eating out or a small travel according to your priority. But always set an upper limit to these type of expenses as you have to manage this within your leftover money only. Now when you have completed planning your monthly budget, the next part is execution. And for this you need a strict tracking process of all your expenses and savings. You can do day to day tracking or keep records per week whichever works for you. You can do it in simple pen and paper method or use any online apps or create your own actual sheet whatever you feel comfortable. And thus at the end of the month you will have a clear picture of your expense, your savings and left out money with you. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.